John's first in the live chat. How you doing this morning there, John? Like to congratulate you on your first two videos on your channel yesterday. Appreciate that. And I actually shared you out. So hopefully maybe you'll start getting a few people jumping on board your bus. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I do like the, the quick little peek of your house and the history behind it. I like old houses, that's for sure. Uh, Robert Hone, does it matter anymore who's first? I did three. Did you see my collection? Oh, okay. Nope, I'll have to catch that third one. I didn't have a chance to check out your channel this morning, but I will be sure to... Um, check that video out when we are done today so i will i will check that for sure but thanks for popping in here let me get john fishman's free entry being first in the chat let me get you your free entry into my august drawing let me go into my wheel of names and add john in there all right, got you in there. Let me save the file so I don't lose the names that are in there right now. All right, give you a little update to on my Patreon. I did have seven Patreon members, but another another jump ship. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I now have six Patreons in my Patreon channel, but that's okay. I do and will send people out their items as soon as I receive the payment usually by the fourth or fifth of the month um, so possibly this Friday or maybe Saturday as long as my payment shows up it shows it's in processing right now so as soon as it does show up I will be getting my patreon packages shipped out hopefully by this weekend if not next Monday for sure okay I know it'll be a holiday that day but I will get it shipped out after the weekend is over the Cal Ripken Jr. and Ken Griffey Jr. short print and Top Stadium Club are awesome looking. Okay. Um, I have more cards, but they are currently misplaced, huh? I'm going to hunt for them after your video. <laughs> oh, don't worry. If, you, if you've seen my videos where I've showed my, uh, my massiveness of cards here, I look in this room and I'm like, am I ever going to sell some of this stuff? But I know in time I will. In time I will. When things kind of get opened up a little bit and they start having card shows again, I can probably rent a table and go to a card show and try and sell some cards there. So that will make it fun, that's for sure. But at 10.30 here, we are going to go over the 2002 uh, baseball year in review. And then we will open up the Tops 2003 complete set. Um, I did put the last set from last week together, and it is all organized and filed away back in my complete set collection. So, just wanted to give an update on that one. Um, I sent them to you. Email. Oh, you sent me a picture via email? Okay, yeah, I will, I'll look at those for sure. I always like me some Cal Ripken Juniors and Ken Griffey Juniors, that's for sure. Email, email, he probably meant email. All right, let me get back into the stream here now that that is saved. And there, and we've got five more minutes. So then after we do open up the complete set, hopefully this one is not, um, by the sound of it, I don't think it's bricked up, but I could be wrong. And then after we do this complete set, I will put that aside and then we will open up this 2020 Tops Archives Baseball Blaster Box. See what few cards we can pull out of these. I just bought four of these uh, this year just to try them out. I, liked, I saw some channels where they are opening them up and I thought that was uh, pretty awesome. So I like the layout the way they are don't think I'll work on completing the complete set we'll see how things go with that but I do like the the layout and design find one exclusive 1964 tops giant card inside I got my one giant card already put away in my uh, giant card binder 
Um, Al Gore invented email. Oh, okay. Is that who invented it? Al Gore? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we've got about four more minutes here, and then we'll get into our history of the 2002 baseball year. Then we'll open up the complete 2003 baseball card set. Before I popped in live here, I just I had just got out of the uh, recording studios. I had to record another video for my other content that uploads every morning at 5 a.m. So other than that, um, can't really think of anything else to chat about. Give you a little update on my eBay eBay sales. Um, I have my red, white, and blue mystery bags that I uh, had sold last month in the month of August or at July actually and uh, they came out right out right on 4th of July weekend it's when I released them I sold a few on the channel and stuff and then decided to just not be a salesman on the channel and just go and uh, list them up on eBay and actually I've been doing pretty good on my sales on eBay so I'll probably any new mystery bag product that I do create I won't probably come up with a series 2 but I will put them and list them up on eBay in case you would ever want to buy a mystery pack from me um, they will still follow the same pattern there I'll probably be creating more mystery bags and putting them up there and John Fishman with a dollar 49 super chat with a unicorn why doesn't Eric feature your product on Monday um I don't know for sure he probably hasn't discovered it yet. Um, I do go to Eric's channel every once in a while. Um, maybe somebody that uh, knows him on a more personal level. Uh, I, I tried to mention it to his brother, John Jabs, because I have talked to him on numerous occasions. But I do not have a one-to-one -one link up with uh, Eric. He, he he always mentions that I, you know I've been around since he was a, a a small channel and stuff which he is the one that got me started in the process and stuff but um, I'm a big fan of the mystery packs yeah I don't know if you've been send uh, shouting me out there but I've I've sent a couple uh, mystery packs to uh, your neck of the woods there Robert cards in my car with hard posada um, but yeah. So it has been interesting, but th that was the two bell ringer for uh, John Fishman's super chat there. Thanks, John, for that dollar forty nine super chat. Appreciate it very much. Let me get you added in with your additional entries into uh, into the August drawing. Let me save the file here for September, and we will move forward. Uh, we we do have 10.30 now, so I'm going to get ready. Robert, I mean, yeah, that's right, Robert. You need to go out and check out John's channel. He's starting to create videos now. So um, I think yesterday he created three videos and uploaded them. They're just short. They're not very long videos. But yeah, for those that have not yet, go to John's channel. Uh, like comment and subscribe to one of his videos make sure you do it the right way uh, give him a thumbs up on the video comment on that video and then make sure you subscribe to his channel and hit that notification bell and then don't forget thumbs up thumbs up for me too in the chat um, it shows that we do have a few people here right now um, so let me just do a refresh right here and then we are going to get into our content at hand for today and again i will be going through and doing the 2002 in baseball review coming up here momentarily so hopefully you all are having a great day in your neck of the woods hopefully all is well there and let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I've got everything refreshed here, and we are good to go for the 2002 in baseball review. Okay. 
the following are the baseball events of the year 2000. All right. So as far as Major League Baseball, the regular season champions for that year in the American League in the Eastern Division Champion Series, we had the New York Yankees against the Atlanta Braves. In the Central Division Championship, we had the Minnesota Twins against the St. Louis Cardinals. Then we had the Western Division Champions, the Oakland Athletics against the Arizona Diamondbacks. And then the wild card qualifier when they implemented the wild card positions was the Anaheim Angels and the San Francisco Giants. So, of course, the World Series champions that year in 2002 were the Anaheim Angels. And postseason started and went ran from uh, October 1st to October 27th. So in the in the first group, in the first round in the American League, it was the New York Yankees against the Anaheim Angels, and the Anaheim Angels took that series three games to one. And then the other American League series, the Oakland Athletics and the Minnesota Twins, the Minnesota Twins beat Oakland three games to two. And then it was the Anaheim Angels against the Minnesota Twins, and the Anaheim Angels took that series four games to one. Then we have in the National League, the Atlanta Braves and the San Francisco Giants. The San Francisco Giants won three games to two. And the National League was the Arizona Diamondbacks and the St. Louis Cardinals. And the Cardinals swept the Diamondbacks three games to nothing. All right. Then we have in the uh, American League playoffs, the Anaheim Angels against the Minnesota Twins. And the Anaheim Angels won that four to one. San Francisco Giants against the St. Louis Cardinals. And the Giants won that series four games to one. Then we had in the World Series the Anaheim Angels against the San Francisco Giants. So it was a California World Series. And the Anaheim Angels won four games to three. All right. The hobbyist. Hey, there's the hobbyist. How you doing? Thanks for popping into the stream here. Uh, Posada, how are you, man? All right. So... In the postseason MVPs, World Series MVP was Tony Glaus. The American League Championship Series MVP was Adam Kennedy. And the NLCS MVP was Benito Santiago. The All-Star Game, which was played July 9th, which happens on fairly uh, normal occasions. It happens to be my birthday on July 9th. And a lot of times I get to watch an All-Star Game on my birthday. Uh, at Miller Park, it was a tie game 7-7 in 11 innings, and no MVP was selected. The Home Run Derby was on July 8th, the day before, and was won by Jason Giambi with the New York Yankees. All right, as far as other champions series, uh, series that year, uh, the Caribbean World Series was the Tomateros de Culacan in Mexico. The College World Series was in Texas. The Cuban National Series, Hogan over Santi Spiritus, four games to three. The European Cup Baseball, Neptunus, the Netherlands over HCAW Bossum in the Netherlands. The Japanese Series, the Yomaguri Giants over Cebu Lions, four games to nothing. The Korean Series, the Samsung Lions over the TG Twins, four games to two. The Big League World Series was... San Juan, Puerto Rico won. And the Junior League World Series, Gartersville, Georgia. The Little League World Series, Valley Sports American from Louisville, Kentucky. Senior League World Series, Williamstad, Caraco. And the Taiwan Series, Brother Elephants over the China Trust Wales. All right. So then we had also some awards and honors that took place that year was for in the Baseball Hall of Fame, Ozzie Smith was inducted. The most valuable player for the American League was Miguel Tejada with the Oakland Athletics and the National League MVP was Barry Bonds of the San Francisco Giants. Alright, Sam Sport Shop is in the house also. Alright, uh, rookie 
Oh, the Cy Young Award winners was Barry Zito for the Oakland Athletics and Randy Johnson with the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Rookie of the Year was Eric Kensky with the Toronto Blue Jays third baseman and Jason Jennings with the Colorado Rockies, a pitcher for the National League. The Manager of the Year Award was Mike Siosa with the Anaheim Angels and Tony La Russa with the St. Louis Cardinals. The Women Executive of the Year Major or Minor League was Brenda Yoder with the Greenville Braves the southern leg okay so then we have our capsulation of what happened throughout the year in 2002 in january 8th of course ozzy smith is elected to the baseball hall of fame in his first year of eligibility smith was named on 91.7 percent of the ballots and became the 37th player in baseball history in being elected to the Hall of Fame in his first year on the ballot. Then we have in February, February 11th, Major League Baseball owners approved the sales of the Florida Marlins Montreal Expos. The Marlins owner, John Henry, is selling the team to Jeffrey Loria for $158.5 million, while Loria is selling the Expos to Baseball Expos LP, a limited partnership owned by the other 29 Major League Baseball teams for $120 million. On February 12th, the New York Mets assisted General Manager Omar Minya is named General Manager of the Montreal Expos. Minya, Min, Minya, a native from the Dominican Republic, becomes the first Hispanic by accepting the general manager position in Major League Baseball history. Hall of Fame player manager Frank Robinson is also announced as the manager of the Expos, which will be run by MLB during the 2002 season. And then February 27th, the sale of the Boston Red Sox to a group headed by John Henry becomes official. All right, let me refresh my chat real quick so I know I'm up to date there. Posada, how are you, man? Hello, Mr. Donald. And the hobbyist says, morning at Sam's Sport Shop. All right, we got seven watching and five thumbs up. Thumbs up, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. <laughs> I like to throw that in there, see if we can get to five or ten thumbs up early on in the stream. It always helps out. All right. So March 1st, the Boston Red Sox dismissed general manager Dan Duquette and replaced him with Mike Port in an interim basis. On March 11th, the Boston Red Sox hired Grady Little as their new manager. And then on March 22nd, the Chicago Cubs sent send Ryan Jorgensen, Julian Taveras, Dontrell Wills, and minor league Lager Jose Cuto to the Florida Marlins in exchange for Antonio Alfonseca and Matt Clement. Moving on to April. Kevin's car collecting and more is in the house. How you doing there, Kevin? Thanks for popping in here this morning. I'm sure you're at work listening and working or working in the background and listening as the stream moves forward. Hobbyist says, good morning, Kevin's car collecting and more. All right, so um, on April 2nd, in beating the San Diego Padres 9 to nothing, the Arizona Diamondbacks became the first defending World Series, cha Series champions to open the season with back-to-back -back shutouts since 1918 and 1919 Boston Red Sox. The Sox shutouts are thrown by Carl Mays and S Sad Sam Jones. Besides, the last team to start the year with consecutive shutouts was the 1994 San Francisco Giants. Kurt Schilling is the winning pitcher against the Padres, following Randy Johnson's 2-0 two-hitter a day before. On April the 3rd, the San Francisco Giants defeat the Los Angeles Dodgers 12 to nothing as Barry Bonds hits a pair of home runs for the second day in a row. Bonds becomes the second player in MLB history to begin a season with consecutive two homer games. Previously, Eddie Matthews also hit a pair of homers in each of the Milwaukee Braves' first two games against the Pittsburgh Pirates to start the 1958 season. At Oakland Coliseum, the Oakland Athletics lose to the Texas Rangers 9-6 as the Rangers score three runs in the eighth inning. The loss snaps the A's string of 20 straight wins at home, stretching back to August 24th. Oakland 
move past the 1974-75 Cincinnati Reds for most consecutive home wins over two seasons, as the Red Sox mark was 17. All right. Uh, I'm great today. Uh, the hobbyist is on lunch. Taking a lunch break with us. Thanks, there, hobbyist. All right. So, on April 5th, the San Francisco Giants defeat the San Diego Padres 3-1 in 10 innings on Barry Bonds' fifth homer, home run of the year. In doing so, Bonds ties the mark for most home runs in the first four games of the season, set by Lou Brock in 1967. On April 7th, the Arizona Diamondbacks defeat the Milwaukee Brewers 2-0 as Kurt Schilling strikes out 17 batters in hurling a one-hitter. Raul Casanova's second inning single is the only Milwaukee hit. The Bol- and then on April 11th, the Baltimore Orioles pound the Tampa Bay Devil Rays 15-6, scoring a franchise-high 12 runs in the sixth inning. They also collect a club-high 11 hits and 16 at-bats. On April 14th, the Baltimore Orioles infielder Mike Bordick begins a streak which leads to a major league record for the most errorless games at 95 and total chances 431 by a shortstop on april 16th the detroit tigers win the first time this season defeating the tampa bay devil rays 9-3 the tigers lost their first 11 games for the fifth worst start by a major league team then on april 21st rafael forcal hits three triples to tie the modern major league record as the Atlanta Braves defeat the Florida Marlins 4-2. The last player to accomplish the feat was Lance Johnson of the Chicago White Sox in 1995. The Arizona Diamondbacks trounce the Colorado Rockies 7-1 as Randy Johnson strikes out 17 batters and becoming the first pitcher this year to win five games. It is the sixth time that Johnson has fanned 50 17 or more batters in a game. Making his first start in almost seven years, the Cincinnati Reds' is Jose Rio. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> allows one unearned run in five innings and the Reds def- as the Reds defeat the Cubs 5-3. It's Rio's first win since July 13, 1995. On April 27, the Boston Red Sox pitcher Derek Lowe hurls the first no-hitter at Fenway Park since the 1965 season when Dave Moorhead no-hit the Cleveland Indians 2 to nothing before only 1,247 fans at the ballpark. Lowe shut out the Tampa Bay Devil Rays 10 to nothing, and it was also the first complete game for Lowe who began last season as the Red Sox closer. In his first start this year, Lowe hurled seven hitless innings against the Baltimore Orioles. On April 29th, former Major League outfielder Darryl Strawberry is sentenced to 18 months in prison for violating the terms of his probation six times. On April 30th, Al Leader of the New York Mets earned a win over the Arizona Diamondbacks to become the first pitcher in Major League history to record wins over all 30 franchises that have existed since 1901. Okay, let me get a sip of water here real quick. Everybody's enjoying the history content here. Plus, I needed a sip of water before I announced this next part here. May 2nd, the Seattle Mariners route the Chicago White Sox 15-4 as outfielder Mike Cameron becomes the 13th player in Major League history to slug four home runs in a single game. All solo shots. In doing so, he becomes the first American League player in 43 years to accomplish the feat. Cameron is also hit by a pitch and flies out to deep right field in a bid for a fifth homer. Cameron, the second baseman, Brett Boone, also became the first teammates in history to hit back-to-back home runs twice in the same inning, performing the feat in Seattle's 10-run first inning. The Mariners also tie a team record with seven homers in the game. James Baldwin is the easy winner with seven innings pitched. There had 
uh, been 39 previous occasions of a player hitting two home runs in an inning. According to the Elias Sports Bureau, Eric Karros was the last to do it on August the 22nd, 2000 for the Dodgers. Mark McGuire was the previous American League player to do it on September 22nd, 1996 for Oakland. On May 4th, Barry Bonds hits his 400th home run as a Giant, leading his team to a 3-0 win over, the, over Cincinnati. Bonds is the first player to hit 400 homers for one team and 100 with another. Uh, May 10th, the Anaheim Angels crushed the White Sox 19 to nothing. The Angels joined the 1923 in- Indians, the 1939 Yankees, and the 1950 Red Sox as the only teams to beat two opponents by 19 or more runs in the same season. Earlier this year, the Angels beat the Indians 21 to 2. The Anaheim victory over Chicago is the 11th since 1901 in which the a team scored 19 or more runs while shutting out its opponent and the first such shutout in the American League since 1955 when Cleveland beat Boston 19 to nothing on May 17th with the New York Yankees trailing the Minnesota Twins by 3 runs in the bottom of the 14th inning Jason Giambi hits a walk-off grand slam to give the Yankees a 13 to 12 victory on May 18th, during a rehab start with AAA Pawtucket Red Sox, Manny Ramirez loses his $15,000 diamond earring while sliding into third base. About half his teammates on their hands and knees, along with Syracuse grounds crew, are unable to recover it despite combing the third base area after the game. On May 23rd, at Miller Park, Los Angeles Dodgers fielder Sean Green becomes the 14th man in Major League history to hit four more home runs in a game and gets a big league record with 19 total bases. He goes 6-for-6, scores six runs, both Dodgers records, and gets seven RBIs in a 16-3 win over the Milwaukee Brewers. Green is the second player this year to hit four home runs in a game. He also surpasses Joe Adcock's former mark of 18 total bases set in 1854. According to Elias Sports Bureau, six players have produced 17 or more total bases in a game, uh, with the last being Mike Schmidt in 1976. Green also is the first major league player to collect six hits while hitting four homers, and his four homers plus a double ties the National League mark for extra base hits. The Dodgers hit eight homers in the game, another franchise record before today's power display. Green had gone 0 for 15 and had been benched on May 18th. The Gary South Shore Railcats played their first Northern League game on the road versus the Sioux Fall Canaries. And then on May 24th, the Los Angeles Dodgers lose to the Arizona Diamondbacks 14-3 despite Sean Green's fifth home run in two games, tying a major league record. Green also hits two singles to tie another mark with 25 total bases in the two games. And then on May 25th, the Colorado Rockies beat the San Francisco Giants 6-3 as Barry Bonds takes over sole possession of fifth place on the all-time home run list with the 584th four-bagger of his career. All right. I, I am. Love history. Robert, I am going to do uh, high history. I want Donald to do a history of the U. U- USPS video. <laughs> I don't know how exciting that would be. Do, do, a, do a video of the United States Postal Service? I was at the Green Brewers game. At the Green Brewers game, probably should have heckled him in that day. <laughs> Criterion Racer. That is nice. Thanks for popping in here, Criterion Racer. Appreciate you being here. All right. Don't forget, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. All right. So the Los Angeles Dodgers top the Arizona Diamondbacks 10 to 5 as Sean Green hits two more home runs and drives in home 
six runs. That seven home runs in three games is a new major league record. On May 29th, in an article in Sports Illustrated, former National League MVP Ken Caminiti says that about 50% of current major league players use some form of steroids. On May 31st, Carlos Beltran, Mike Sweeney, and Joe Randa hit consecutive home runs in the top of the 11th inning to pace the Kansas City Royals to a 10-7 victory over the Texas Rangers. The Royals became just the second team in MLB history to hit at least three consecutive home runs in extra innings. On May 2nd, 1964, the Minnesota Twins hit four consecutive home runs also in the top of the 11th inning, Tony Oliva, Bob Allison, Jimmy Hall, and Harmon Killebrew went deep in a 7-3 victory against the Kansas City Athletics. Then we move on to June. June 2nd, Philadelphia Phillies pitcher Robert per- Person puts on the best offensive displays by a pitcher in Major League history. In his team's 18-2 victory over the Montreal Expos at Veterans Stadium, his he hits two home runs and drives in seven runs. The first home run is a grand slam and comes off Bruce Chen in the first inning. The second comes in the fifth off Masato Yoshi with two men on base. In between the third inning, he barely misses joining Tony Collinger in 1966 as the only pitchers to hit two grand slams in the same game. He strikes out to end the inning with the second grand slam. Person, the uh, first Philly pitcher to hit two home runs in one game since Randy Lurch in 1978, would also have broken Collinger's record of nine RBIs in one game by a pitcher, as well as becoming the second pitcher to hit three home runs in one game, joining Jim Tobin in 1942. On June 4th, the Minnesota Twins score 10 runs in the 7th inning to close uh, the scoring in at 23-2 win over the Indians, the largest margin of victory in Twins history. Uh, They stroke a franchise record 25 hits. The team hit 24-5 times while playing as the Washington Senators in the contest and tie their club record for total RBIs with 22. They also tie the American League record as four players having four or more hits. Jacques Jones, Dustin Moore, A.J. Perinsky, and Louis Rivas. Rivas scores five times to tie a club record. The Indians tie their team record for biggest losses, tying the mark set in a 21-0 loss to the Tigers on September 15, 1901. Cleveland also becomes the first team since the 1969 San Diego Padres to lose two games in the same season by 19 or more runs. On June 10th, in an interleague game against the Arizona Diamondbacks at Yankee Stadium, Marcus Thames of the New York Yankees becomes the first player to hit a home run off a defending Cy Young Award winner and his first major league at bat. The home run comes in the third inning off defending National League Cy Young Award winner Randy Johnson in the Yankees' 7-5 victory. Then we have on June 18th, Jack. Buck, Hall of Fame broadcaster for the St. Louis Cardinals, passes away after months of hospitalization. He worked football games and playoff games as well. Noted for his call in the 1988 World Series following the game-winning run by uh, Kirk Gibson and the 1991 World Series game-winning and we'll see you tomorrow night home run by Kirby Puckett. On the date of his death, Darrell Kyle pitched the cart the Cardinals into a tie for first place, their first time at the top of the division since early April. It would be his final start before his sudden death. On June 20th, the Florida Marlins beat the Cleveland Indians 3 to nothing as the Marlins' Luis Castillo extends his hitting streak to 34 games, the longest ever by a second baseman. The St. Louis Cardinals drop a 3-2 decision to the American Anaheim 
Angels at Bush Stadium following a memorial service for Jack Buck. On June 22nd, the St. Louis Cardinals pitcher Daryl Kyle died suddenly in his hotel room in downtown Chicago. When he didn't arrive at the ballpark, his room was checked and Kyle had died in his sleep from 90% blockage of his arteries. He was 33. The game was postponed after the fans waited in the, in the dark for an hour. Chicago Cubs catcher Joe Girardi, who later played for the for the Cardinals made the announcement to the crowd that the game was canceled due to a tragedy in the Cardinal family. The game was rescheduled for August 31st with the Cardinals winning 10-4. In the 2002 College World Series, Texas defeats South Carolina 12-6 to win their fifth NCAA baseball title in the last College World Series championship to be decided by a single game before moving to a three-game format the following year. On June 27, the Montreal Expos general manager, Omar Min- Minaya, uh, sent P. Cliff, second base Brandon Phillips, outfielder Grady Sizemore, and first baseman Lee Stevens to the Cleveland Indians in exchange for uh, P.'s uh, Bartolo Colon and Tim Drew. Colon will win 10 of 17 starts for Montreal, but Sizemore with Cleveland and Phillips in Cincinnati will have solid careers for the rest of the decade. On June 28, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays defeat their cross-state rival, Florida Marlins, 4 to nothing behind uh, Wilson Alvarez and two relievers. Ken Miller of the Marlins hits a towering fly that lands on one of the catwalks that hang from the stadium's dome. It never comes down and is ruled a double. It's the second time a ball has gotten stuck in a catwalk at Tropicana Field. In 1991, Jose Canseco hit a home run drive that lodged there. Millar joins Rupert Jones, Ricky Nelson, and Dave Kingman, Alvaro Espinosa and Canseco as the only players in Major League history to hit a fair ball that got stuck in a stadium obstruction. Jones and Nelson both had hits get caught in the overhead speakers at the Old Kingdom, while the balls by Kingman and Espinosa were at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome, with Kingman's getting stuck in a drainage valve and espionosis lodging in an overhead speaker. The Chicago Cubs take an 8 to nothing lead over Chicago White Sox at Comiskey Park behind the Kerry Wood. After Wood hits Paul Konerko, the White Sox collect 13 runs before allowing the Cubs to score one run late. Konerko had four hits, two of which were home runs, in the 13-9 win for the Sox. Uh, hello, hobbyist, says Sam Sports Shop. All right, we got eight thumbs up and six people watching. We're on a roll here. All right, so in the month of July, as we're getting closer to the midway point of the season here, um, July 2nd, a combined total of 62 home runs are hit in today's game breaking the old major league mark of 57 set on April 7, 2000. A record 2000, a record 9 players have multiple home run games, breaking the previous mark of 8 set on May 19, 1999. July 6, Daryl Ward of the Houston Astros hits the first home run ever to exit PNC Park and land in the Allegheny River on the fly. The shot comes off Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher Kip Wells in the fifth inning of a 10-2 Astro victory. July 9th, in a controversial finish, the 2002 American League All-Star Game held at Miller Park ends in a 7-7 tie after 11 innings, as both the National and American Leagues run out of pitchers. 
Both managers discuss it with the commissioner, Bud Selig, who calls the game. July 23rd, Nomar Garcia Para hits three home runs with eight RBIs on his birthday as the Boston Red Sox defeat the Tampa Bay Devil Rays 22-4 in the opener of a day-night doubleheader. The round trippers give him five in two games to tie a major league record. Garcia Para also becomes the only player in major league history to hit three home runs in two back-to-back innings. All right, in August, August 7th, in a historic movement, major league players and their long-held opposition to mandatory drug testing by agreeing to be tested for illegal steroids bringing beginning in 2003. On August 8th, brave pitcher John Schmoltz reaches 40 saves in a season faster than any pitcher in Major League history. On August the 9th, the Giants' Barry Bonds hits the 600th home run of his career, but his team still falls to the Pirates by a score of 4-3. Bonds joins Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, and Willie Mays in the exclusive 600 home run club. Vladimir Guerrero hits his 200th career home run, helping the Montreal Expos beat the Milwaukee Brewers 11-4. On August 10th, Sammy Sosa hits three home runs, helping the Chicago Cubs beat the Colorado Rockies. On August 11th, Sammy Sosa hits a grand slam and drives in five runs in the Chicago Cubs' 12-9 victory over Colorado and sets a National League record for RBIs in consecutive games with 14. August 17th, the Yankees defeat the Mariners 8-3 as Alfonso Soriano hits a home run to become the first second baseman ever to join the 30-30 club. On August 26th, the New York Yankees shortstop Derek Jeter scores his 100th run of the season, joining Ted Williams. 1939 to 1949 and Earl Combs 1925 to 1932 as the only players in modern history to score at least 100 runs in their first seven seasons. Jeter scored again in the bottom of the eighth as the Yankees routed the visiting Texas Rangers 10 to 3. On August the 28th, Eric Gagne earns a save and a Los Angeles victory over the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's the first of his major league record 84 consecutive save opportunities that he will convert. On August the 29th, first baseman Mark Bellhorn becomes the first player in National League history to homer in both sides of the plate in the same inning, doing so in the Cubs' 10 run fourth inning at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Chicago wins 13-10 over the Braves and Bellhorn also ties a team record with five RBIs in the inning. August 30th, Major League players and owners agree to a historic contract that prevents the players from going out on strike marking the first time in over 30 years that the collective bargaining negotiation in baseball was met without a work stoppage. On August the 31st, the New York Mets are shut out by the Philadelphia Phillies one to nothing to mark their 13th consecutive home defeat. In doing so, they become the first National League team to lose all their home games over the course of a month. Right then we go into September. A long September here. September 1st, Jeff Kent of the San Francisco Giants becomes the first second baseman in history to record 100 or more RBIs for six consecutive years. The Giants lose to the Arizona Diamondbacks 7-6. Miguel Tejada of the Oakland Athletics hits his 300th home run of the season as Oakland beats Minnesota 7-5. Tejada is only the third shortstop in history with at least three seasons with 30 or more home runs and with 30 home runs in three consecutive seasons. Alex Rodriguez leads in both categories and with six such seasons, five in a row. Alright, September the 3rd. The Mets lose the first game in their doubleheader against the Marlins, 3-2, but bounce back to take the nightcap, 11-5. The loss 
In the opener, sets a new National League record for consecutive home losses with 15. Texas Rangers reliever Joaquin Benoit uh, pitches seven innings of one-hit ball against the Baltimore Orioles to record the longest save in Major League history. September 4th, the Oakland Athletics set an American League record by defeating the Kansas City Royals uh, 12-11. In their 20th straight win, Oakland blows an 11 to nothing lead, but scores in the bottom of the ninth for the victory. The old mark of 19 wins was shared between the 1906 White Sox and the 1947 New York Yankees. Aaron Metal ejected yesterday for two pitchers. For two pitches behind Melvin Mora starts today's game. According to the New York Times, it is the first back to back start by a pitcher since Steve McCarthy in 1980. Through five pitchers, Dennis Martinez, Burt Blylevin, Pete Bukovic, Rick Langford, and Juan Eichelberger made their last start before the 1981 strike in their first start after. September 5th, in a Texas 11-2 victory over Baltimore, shortstop Alex Rodriguez becomes the fifth player in Major League history to record successive 50 home run seasons. Drew Henson makes his Major League debut pinch running for Bernie Williams in the eighth inning of the New York Yankees' 9-3 victory over the Detroit Tigers. The St. Louis Cardinals defeat the Chicago Cubs 11-2 as brothers Andy Beans and Alan Beans oppose each other in the seventh matchup of brothers in Major League history. Andy gets the win while Alan takes the loss. The Cardinals score all 11 of their runs in the third inning. The Oakland Athletics' 20-game winning streak is snapped as Brad Rackey pitches the Minnesota Twins to a 6-0 victory at home. The Athletics fall short of matching the second longest winning streak in baseball history. The Chicago Cubs of 1980 and 1935 both won 21 straight. On September the 8th, the Atlanta Braves win their 11th straight National League division title when the second place Philadelphia Phillies lose to the New York Mets 6-4. The Texas Rangers set a major league record by homering in their 26th consecutive game as Texas falls to the Tampa Bay Devil Rays 6-3. Rafael Palmero's solo shot in the sixth inning is the record breaker. The streak will be ended at 27 games two days later. Uh, September 9th, pitcher Randy Johnson reaches 300 strikeouts for the fifth consecutive season, extending his major league record. September 14th, pitcher Derek Lowe gets his 20th victory as the Red Sox beat the Orioles 6-4. Lowe becomes the first pitcher in major league history to win 20 games the season after saving 20 games. He is also the first pitcher to record at least 40 saves and later win 20. Dennis Eckersley and John Schmoltz did it the other way around. Barry Bonds ties Hank Aaron for the most 100 RBI seasons by a National League player as he drives home his 100th run of the season for the 11th time in his career. The Major League record is 13, shared by Jimmy Fox, Lou Gehrig, and Babe Ruth. Uh, Chin Feng Chen becomes the first Taiwan-born player to appear in the major leagues as he walks and scores as a pinch hitter for the Los Angeles Dodgers against the Colorado Rockies. The 24-year-old first baseman outfielder played for the 1990 Taiwan team, which won the Little League World Series. September 15th, Sammy Sosa joins Mel Ott and Willie Mees as the only NL players to post eight consecutive 100 RBI seasons. On September 17th, the Minnesota Twins outfielder Jacques Jones hits a leadoff home run against the Detroit Tigers, his 11th of the season. That season total will place Jones second in American League history, only behind the 12 hit 
by Baltimore's Brady Anderson in 1996. Uh, September 18th, Arizona defeats San Diego 10-3 as Greg Colburn is the first player to hit two home runs in a game while hitting for the cycle since George Brett on May 28, 1979. September 20th, shortstop Mike Bordick sets a major league record with his 102nd consecutive airless game at shortstop. He also extends his major league mark of errorless chances at shortstop to 504. On September 22nd, Greg Maddox joins Cy Young as the only pitchers in Major League history to win uh, 15 or more games in 15 consecutive seasons. Fred McGriff becomes the first Major League player uh, to hit 30 homers for five different teams and the first to homer in 42 different ballparks. The Cincinnati Reds play their last game at Riverfront Stadium, losing 4-3 to to the Philadelphia Phillies. Aaron Boone hit the stadium's last home run and the 1990 World Series hero, Jose Rijo, took the loss for the Reds. September 29th, Albert Pujols becomes the fourth hitter in the major leagues and the first batter since Ted Williams in 1939 and 40 to collect more than 250 RBIs. In his first two seasons in the majors, Pujols drove in 257 runs in his first two campaigns. Joe DiMaggio holds the record with 292 RBIs. Dale Alexander is second with 272 and Williams is the third with 258. Then we have October. October 2nd, the Cebu Lions first baseman Alex Cabrera hits his 55th home run of the season off Osaka Kentsu Buffaloes uh, pitcher Akira Akamoto to tie the Japanese league record set by Sadahara Oh in 1964 and matched by Tuffy Rhodes last year. Like Rhodes, Cabrera will see a few good pitches for the remaining games. And then October 10th, the San Francisco Giants take a two games to nothing lead in the NLCS with a 4-1 win over St. Louis Cardinals. Jason Schmidt pitches a shutout ball in the eighth inning while shortstop uh, Rich Aria hits a pair of home runs with three RBIs. On October 13th, Kennedy of the Anaheim Angels becomes the first player since Uh, Reggie Jackson in 1977 to hit three home runs in a single postseason game as the Angels defeat the Minnesota Twins to claim their first American League title in their 42-year existence. On October 26, the Anaheim Angels stage one of the great comebacks in World Series history to force a seventh game. With one out in the seventh inning, the Giants are leading five to nothing and are just eight outs from winning their first World Series title since moving to San Francisco. But after two singles, Scott Spezio fouls off several pitches before hitting a three-run home run to get the Angels close. In the bottom of the eighth, Darren Erstad led off with a home run to make it 5-4. to four. After two singles, the Giants brought their new ace reliever, Bob Nen, Rob Nen, series MVP Troy Glaus, greeted him with a two-run double to give the Angels a 6-5 lead. Re- reliever Troy Percival pitched a 1-2-3 inning for the save. On October 27th, the Anaheim Angels win their first World Series as they defeat the San Francisco Giants. 4-1 to one in Game 7. Pitcher Ron Lackey with relief help from Brendan McDonnelly, Francis Rodriguez, and Tony Percival become the first rookie to win a seventh game of a World Series since 1909. Garrett Anderson's bases loaded double in the third inning score, scores three runs for Anaheim to break a 1-1 tie and provide the margin of victory. Troy Glaus is named the series MVP. On October 28th, Lou Pinella asked to be released from the managerial contract with the Seattle Mariners so that he may sign with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. November, in November 12th, uh, 
Oakland Athletic shortstop Miguel Tejada, who receives 356 points from the BBWAA, including 21 first place votes of the 28 cast, is selected as the American League MVP. Tejada joins countryman George Bell from 1987 and Sammy Sosa 1998 as Dominican Republic natives to win the award. November 22nd, Houston Astros right fielder Richard Hildago is shot in the left forearm during a carjacking in Venezuela. He is released from the hospital and is expected to go to Houston for more tests. November 25th, the Boston Red Sox signed 28-year-old Theo Espine as their new general manager. He becomes the youngest GM in Major League history. On November 26th, prior to playing two regular season games against the Oakland Athletics, To open the Major League season in Japan, the Seattle Mariners will face the Cebu Lions and Yamiuri Giants in exhibition contests on March 22nd and 23rd of spring training. All right, and then as we finish things off here in the month of December, in support of a national strike, the Venezuelan Professional League suspends its games. Many of the eight teams in the league belong to the news media owners opposed to President Hugo Chavez. When the strike continues, the league will cancel its season on January 13, 2004. In the biggest free agent signing this year, the Philadelphia Phillies signed Cleveland Indians first baseman Jim Thome to a six-year contract. And then in December 29th, Riverfront Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Reds since 1970, is imploded. The team will start playing in Great American Ballpark next season. Just a few other notes here. The Last Commissioner, a baseball valentine, an autobiography by Ray Vincent. Summerland, a novel by Michael Chabon. Wind Shares by Bill James, representing Sabermetrician's new system for evaluating player performance, and the book Moneyball by Oakland Athletics general manager Billy Bean presenting the A's statistical method to the 2002 season. And then the two uh, baseball movies from that year were Bleacher Bums, that was a TV release, and The Rookie, the 2002 film. So there we have it. our 2002 baseball in review hopefully everybody enjoyed that now we will get into our next content at hand here okay give me one second here i gotta check something really quick So now we're going to move on to our next phase. We're going to leave this blaster box there for the end, of course. Actually, I could slide that back there so you guys can see Kevin hanging out there. Let me move this here. Let me put that, like, right about there. Put these here. We got eight thumbs up, seven watching. I'm going to go ahead and score the top of this box here so I can take this plastic off. And we can go ahead and go through and highlight the 2003 complete set here. All right. Let me just kind of file that off in the distance there. Roll down and take the plastic off this box here. Let me see. Oh, this one's got a security tag on it. Let me see if I can just peel that off and get that off the box. Does not need to be there. There we go. Didn't really ruin the box per se. But let's go ahead and just open up this here. We'll get, oh, good. we do got some insert cards in here. Do have some insert cards. We'll go through those. See if there's anything there to add. Uh, first year card for Brandon Wood. Draft pick for the California Angels. All right. So real quick, before we do open up the baseball card set, let's open up this bonus pack set. See what cards I get to add to my PC. See if there's anything awesome in here. Doesn't 
did not have any indication there. Just some light stickage here. Might give an indication as to what the baseball cards might be like. Doesn't look like there's any stickage there. These look like they're like uh, kind of like rookie cards, I guess. All right, but we've got draft pick Brandon Wood, first year card for the California Angels. Draft pick Ryan Wagner with the Cincinnati Reds. That's cool ones. <laughs> He's sitting on an escalator there. Then we've got draft pick Sean Rodriguez, another one with the California Angels here. Put these Angels together here. Then we've got uh, Chris Lubansky, draft pick, uh, first year card for Chris Lubansky. And for the Los Angeles Dodgers, we've got Chad Billingsley with the Los Angeles Dodgers, first year card. So these are pretty neat. All rookie cards, draft pick cards. We will put those because they are just part of a subset. 4 of 10, 2 of 10, uh, 3 of 10, 1 of 10, and 5 of 10. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of 10 right there. So let me just set these aside. I'll put those in my rookie card collection. They might be coming to a sale near you soon. All right, now we're going to go through, though, and we will go through this complete set like we do in normal fashion. Um, I guess we do have some brickage going on here, but I don't think they're really super, super stuck from what I've noticed so far. They do come, kind of come apart semi-sort of easily, which can be a good sign, that's for sure. They are just, um, I'm just going to set these behind the box here as I take them out. And then we will go through, hopefully they get into more like normalcy as we progress down here. All right. Sporty new Ooh, Mike P has a sporty news card there. I'm gonna just set this off to the side here as we reload the box as we go through. Okay. So without further ado, I think I'll just take a first stack off here. Start going through these. And just I guess I'll have to pull them each apart slowly one by one. Uh, the sporty news all-stars, Mike Piazza, catcher for the Is that Milwaukee Brewers? When, where did he play then? Oh, the National League All-Star Game. Okay. Uh, Oliver Perez. I might have to go this way. Oliver Perez with the Padres. Uh, Todd Helton. All-Star Game, National League. Um, Jay Payton with the Colorado Rockies. Uh, Willis Roberts with the Orioles. Uh, Morgan Ensberg with the Astros. Uh, Denny Stark with the Colorado Rockies. Tony Fiore with the Twins. Uh, Octavio Dotel with the Astros. Paul Quantrill with the Dodgers. We'll just see how these roll along as we go. Um, Latroy Hawkins with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Julio Franco with the Braves. D'Angelo Jimenez with the Chicago White Sox. Um... Alex Cora with the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Garland with the White Sox. Scott Spezio with the California Angels. Ben Weber with the Angels. Uh, Scott Erickson with the Orioles. 
John Olrude with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, J.C. Romero with the Minnesota Twins. Jeff Bloom with the Astros. Tony Graffino with the White Sox. Yeah, they're not super, super stuck together. No loss at all here. Getting into a better set here. Maybe they improved on how they're their drying process. Danny Wright with the White Sox. Um, Brent Main with the Royals. Um, Matt Franco with the Braves. Uh, Corky Miller with the Reds. Josh Fogg with the Pirates. Uh, Dean Palmer with the Detroit Tigers. Vinny Castilla with the Braves. Uh, Scott Schoenweiss with the California Angels. Mark Grace with the Arizona Diamondback. Shout out to Kevin's car collecting anymore. Brad Erasmus with the Astros. Joe Creed with the White Sox. Juan Encarnacion with the Florida Marlins. Dave Roberts with the Dodgers. Uh, Aaron Seeley with the California Angels. Uh, Terry Mulholland with the Indians. I'm going to just speed it up and just say their name and the team name instead of the city. Uh, our Van Plezak with the Phillies. Jonathan Santana with the Twins. Ricky Gutierrez with the Indians. Uh, Jeff Weaver with the Yankees. Scott Williamson with the Reds. Gary Glover with the White Sox. Um, Damian Easley with the Tigers. Um, Mark DeRosha with the Braves. Rick Reed with the Twins. Uh, Chris Magruder with the Indians. Uh, Andy Fox with the Marlins. Uh, Gabe Kapler with the Rockies. Ryan Dempster with the Reds. Uh, Ted Lilly with the Athletics. Steve Sparks with the Tigers. And Mark Kotze with the Padres. Okay. Put those all in there. Get into our next section here. Pull off a piece. Okay. So we got uh, Adam Hidsdu. With the Pirates. Okay. There we go. Um, Craig Wilson with the Pirates. Uh, Karen Garcia with the Indians. Ah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bent that card, huh? That's the way that one pulled apart. Karim Garcia with the Indians. My word. Oh, first casualty. At least it wasn't a star. All right. Uh, Bubba Tramel. Bubba Tramel with the Padres. Uh, Javier Vasquez with the Expos. Uh, Kevin Young with the Pirates. Sterling Hitchcock with the Yankees. A little bit more stickage in here as we get into it. Uh, 
Eli Marrero with the Cardinals. Fernando Tatis Sr. with the Expos. Scott Stewart with the Expos. Um, Jose Hernandez with the Rockies. Daryl Ward with the Dodgers. Scott Strickland with the Mets. Uh, Chris Gomez with the Twins. Jeff Supon with the Pirates. I think that's just a shadow. I thought maybe it was like card stickage there. Jose Machias with the Expos. Jeremy Giambi. Jeremy Giambi with the Red Sox. Cliff Floyd with the Mets. Reggie Sanders with the Pirates. Damian Moss with the Giants. Gold Cup card. Um, Doug Glanville with the Rangers. Kenny Lofton with the Giants. Cliff Pollitt with the Toronto Blue Jays, I believe. Yep, Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Matt Williams with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Mike Crudale, Crudale with the Cardinals. Uh, Ryan Dress with the Tigers. Or the Rangers? Tigers. Uh... Inar Diaz with the, the Rangers. Uh, Kerry Littenberg with the Orioles. Luis Vince Viscano with the Brewers. Uh, Sporting News All-Stars with the National League. Jeff Kent. Um, Shane Spencer with the Indians. Vance Wilson with the Mets. Put that stack in the box here. So when I finish off, I can go through later. And... All right. Uh, Chris Whitter, Whitger with the Yankees. Um, oh, there we go. Came off the back there. Two of them. Uh, David Bell with the Philadelphia Phillies. Matt Mente with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Chris Singleton with the Oakland A's. Toby Hall with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Felipe Lopez with the Reds. Paul Bird with the Braves. Michael Young with the Texas Rangers. Left behind times. Hello, lurking and sorting in the background. Hope all is well. Yes, we are doing well there, left behind. Thank you, thank you very much for popping into the screen. Let me know you're in the background. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. We got nine thumbs up, five watching. Getting close to that ten thumbs up range. Sometimes then I'll, YouTube might send some people my way to see what's going on. Desi Relaford with the Royals. Um, there we go. Jose Contreras. Um, first year card. That's number 612. It's not from the special subset we had earlier. Um, Adam Eaton with the Padres. Jason Tyner with the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, David Weathers with the Mets. Uh, Roger Cedeno with the Mets. Uh, Pedro Astacio with the Mets. Todd Ritchie with the Brewers. Bartolo Colon with the White Sox. I wonder what year car this was for Colon. Um, two. Seven, seventh year card. Still kind of young there. He's definitely older now. Uh, I, I don't think he's playing this year that I know of, though. Eric Burns with the Athletics. Uh, Bill Mueller with the Red Sox. Uh Peter Bergeron with the Expos. Um, Dave Berez with the Cubs. Eric Owens with the Angels. Jason Michaels with the Phillies. Uh, Brett Tomko with the Cardinals. Uh, Levon Hernandez with the Giants. Paul Wilson with the Reds. Uh, Arthur Rhodes with the Seattle Mariners. Frank Catalanato 
with the is that the Brewers emblem symbol? I don't know, Texas Rangers. Um, Antonio Osuna with the with the Yankees and John Mabry with the CO Murders. No left behind likes when I shout out my Seattle Mariners. <laughs> All right. There we go. Get little chunks here where I can Okay. Jeremy Guthrie with the Indians. Um Tim Booney Barger with the Marlins. Travis Lee with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Keith Folk with the Oak Oakland Athletics. Eric Carroll's with the Cubs. Uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. with the White Sox. Joe Girardi with the Cardinals. Todd Hollingsworth with the Marlins. Um, Tyler Houston with the Phillies. Brian Anderson with the Indians. Uh, Billy Cook with the White Sox. Uh, Bud Smith with the Phillies. Chad Hermanson with the Dodgers. Drew Meyer draft pick for the Texas Rangers. Bud Smith again with the Phillies because I had to go from the back. They were unstuck that way. Um, there we go. Uh, Ray Durham with the Giants. Um, Brian Moeller with the Astros. Uh, Brian Wright with the Cleveland Indians. First year card draft pick. Uh, Preston Wilson with the Rockies. Uh, Charles Nagy with the Padres. Sean Estes with the Cubs. Um, BJ Serhoff with the Orioles. Uh, first year card, draft pick, Brian Bur Bullington with the Pirates. James Baldwin with the Royals. Mike Campton with the Braves. Uh, Rick Helling with the Orioles. Mike Timlin with the Red Sox. Corey Liddell with the... What is up with that? With the Athletics. They must have been brought up from. No, well, it shows. It shows the Devil Mets, the Devil Rays, the Athletics, and then that. I don't know why they got that symbol on there. That's the hat he's wearing too. Marquis Grissom with the Giants. Frank Catalano was on the Blue Jays in that card. Okay, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's what I was wondering. I think it was the old Toronto Blue Jays emblem. That's what that emblem is, I think. Okay. We'll see. Oh, slight, but not quite. Uh, draft pick. Uh, Jeff Francis with the Colorado Rockies. John Thompson with the Rangers. Um, first, first year card draft pick, Evo Batist Bastida Martinez with the Seattle Mariners. Oh my word, that's a mouthful. Damian Miller with the Cubs. <clears throat> Kevin Millar with the Red Sox. Mike Remlinger with the Cubs. Uh, Nifi Perez with the Giants. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to have to take a drink of water in a second here. Chris Hammond with the Yankees. Uh, draft pick, Darnell Rasner with the Expos. Lee Stevens with the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Mark Redman with the Marlins. Flash Gordon. <laughs> Flash Gordon. What Flash Gordon? With the White Sox. Okay, <laughs> Flash Gordon. I mean, we call D, D. Gordon, we call him Flash. I wonder if he's related. <laughs> Matt Stairs with the Pirates. Mike Burdick with the Toronto Blue Jays. I think that time it's... 
I didn't even show them, but the Toronto Blue Jays. Florida Marlins, uh, Carl Pavano, uh, Esteban Loiza with the White Sox, uh, Jeremy Hermida with the Marlins, draft pick card, uh, Juan Acevedo with the Yankees, Tom Glavin with the New York Mets, and Chuck Finley with the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, let me set these in the box. We're about almost quarter of the way through. Let me get a drink of water. Left Behind Times with the $2 Super Chat. Let me get him included into my... Uh, Let's see. No, not there. Into my monthly drawing for the month of September as the list is growing. Almost getting our first page full of names. All right. We log in that super chat. Save the file so we don't lose anything in case something happens to my computer. It'll be saved in the cloud. Go back. Tom Gordon is D's dad. Well, yeah, yeah, I know Tom Gordon is D's dad, but I don't know if um, uh, Flash Gordon was that his nickname, Flash Gordon? Yup, Glavin in a Mets uniform. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I noticed that Tom Glavin is in, in, as a New York Met. <laughs> All right, award winner Andrew Jones, two thousand two National League Gold Glove. They did it differently. Award winner Kenny Rogers for the American League 2002 American League Gold Glove Award winner. All right. Jason Jennings, 2002 Rookie of the Year Award. Okay. I do have a little bit of damage on that one. I don't know what happened there. Got eight up in the box. Funny, it's something that's in a box, and you think, how can things get messed up? Guess you'd be surprised, huh? All right, Jason Jennings, I did him. Uh, John Olrude, there we go with the Seattle Mariners, American League 2002 American League Gold Glove Award winner. Uh, Larry Walker, 2002 National League Gold Glove. Uh, Scott Rowland, 2002 National League Gold Glove with the Cardinals. Darren Erstad, award winner, 2002 Gold Glove. Greg Maddox, award winner, 2002 National League Gold Glove. Barry Bonds, 2002 National League MVP. Uh, Barry Zito, 2002 American League Cy Young award winner. Uh, Tory Hunter. With the Minnesota Twins, 2002 American League Gold Glove. Uh, Edgar Renteria, award winner, 2002 National League Gold Glove. Brett Boone, American League award winner, 2002 Gold Glove with the Seattle Mariners. Award winner, Fernando Vina with the 2002 National League Gold Glove it's with the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Eric Hinsky. 2002 Rookie of the Year Award. Eric Chavez, award winner, 2002 American League Gold Glove. Randy Johnson, 2002 National League Cy Young Award winner. Uh, Brad Erasmus, award winner, 2002 National League Gold Glove. Miguel Tejada, award winner, 2002 American League MVP. Ichiro, Ichiro, Ichiro. The award winner, 2002 American League Gold Glove Award winner. Uh, Meg, or Benji Molina, award winner, 2002 American League Gold Glove. Jim Edmonds, award winner, 2002 American League or National League Gold Glove. Alex Rodriguez with the Texas Rangers Award winner, 2002 American League Gold Glove. And Todd Helton, 2002 American National League Gold Glove Award winner. All right. All 
right, let's move on to our next stack here. Our next brick. Just take a little section off at a time, see if we can loosen them up easier here. Uh, Bobby Hill with the Cubs. AJ Perinsky with the Twins. Uh, Richie Saxon with the Brewers. Barry Bonds with the Giants. Uh, Christian Guzman with the Twins. Carlos Delgado with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, uh, there we go. That one's the right uniform. <laughs> For the back of the card. Oakland Athletics, Tim Hudson. Uh, Shea Hillenbrand with the Red Sox. Carlos Lee with the White Sox. Uh, Jared Washburn with the Athletics. I think it's better if I take littler chunks here. There we go. All right. Uh, Paul Conurco with the White Sox. Rich Arilla with the Giants. Uh, Woody Williams with the Cardinals. Uh, Barry Larkin with the Cincinnati Reds. Manny Ramirez with the Red Sox. Angel Bolden joining late. They seem to be sticking just a little. Yeah, they do. They, they, every, some of these full set boxes, if they weren't taken care of and weren't stored properly, they can tend to stick together a little bit. But thanks for popping in here, Angel Bolden. Appreciate you being here. Sounds like my joints laugh out loud, all that cracking. Oh yeah, I know what that I know what that feels like in the morning when I wake up every day. Rodrigo Lopez with the Orioles. But not too super, super bad. AJ Burnett with the Marlins. Uh Brad Racky with the Twins. Uh Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer with the Mets. Um, Brett Myers with the Phillies. Um, Dimitri Young with the Tigers. Uh, Steve Finley with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Scott Rowland with the Cardinals. Uh, Garrett Anderson with the Angels. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds. Nice pretty blue and red card there for the kid Ken Griffey Jr. He's my most favorite PC player. Secondly is Cal Ripken Jr. Jorge Julio with the Orioles. Oh, come on now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, Raul Abanez with the Kansas City Royals, Tory Hunter with the Twins, um, John Schmoltz, Hall of Famer with the Braves, and Ryan Klesko with the Padres. So there we go. Next small section here. Snap, crackle, pop. If I loosen them up a little bit, they're they're not as much. Jeff Jenkins with the Brewers. Darren Erstad with the Angels. Mike Sweeney with the Royals. Uh, Carlos Pena with the Tigers. Uh, Rafael Palmero with the Tigers. Todd Pratt with the Phillies. Uh, Ruben Ventura with the Yankees. Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer with the Atlanta Braves. Freddie Garcia with the Seattle Mariners. Jimmy Haynes with the Reds. Um, Marty Cordova with the Orioles. Moises Alou with the Cubs. Pedro Martinez with the Boston Red Sox. Ricky Lede with the Phillies. Kevin Brown with the Dodgers. Derek Jeter, new Hall of Famer this year for the New York Yankees. Eric Chavez with the Athletics. Uh, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer with the Astros. Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer with the Diamondbacks. Andy Pettit with the New York Yankees. All right. 
Go ahead and slide this back into the, the complete set box here. Move on to the next portion of this. If I can get it to separate a little bit here. Oh, my word. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one part. Oh, my word. Well, take a break on that one. Breathe. Breathe cards. Breathe cards. <laughs> Toronto Blue Jays team card. Looks like we're going through some team cards coming up here. Guess they got them all grouped together kind of here. The Los Angeles Dodgers team card. A oh, little bit mixed here. Draft pick card for Cole Hamels with the Philadelphia Phillies. Sporting News. Vladimir Guerrero Daddy. Vladdy Daddy with the National League. All right. Then we've got the Jason Pridey. Our pretty draft pick for the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, Randy Johnson, all-star, left-hand pitcher for the National League. Uh, Joey Gomes with the Tampa Bay Rays, draft pick, first-year card. Postseason highlights. Angels win first-ever World Series. Angels 4, Giants 1, Game 7. That should be, yeah, 721. Last card in the set. Draft pick, Kaylee Green with the San Diego Padres. Barry Bonds, all-star for the National League. Uh, Postseason uh, highlights. Uh, Angels take three. Draft pick, James Loney with the Dodgers. Um, all-star, Scott Rowland for the National League. Uh, Kurt Schilling, all-star for the National League, right-hand pitcher. B.J. Upton with the Tampa Bay Rays, draft pick card. Edgar Renteria, all-star for the National League, shortstop. Sammy Sosa, outfielder for the National League, all-star. Sergio Santos, draft pick card for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And Bobby Cox, manager for the National League, all-star game. Oh, my word. Well, let's see if I can. Oh, my word. Sometimes you just get them super, super bricked. Mm, my word. Got to slap my knuckles. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Chicago Cubs team card. New York Mets. cards but I do want to get somewhat separated at least snap crackle pop all right there we go got one on the bottom here Boston Red Sox team card we got the Texas Rangers team card the Houston Astros team card prospects he sook Choi and Nick Jackson with the Chicago Cubs all right uh, Minnesota Twins team card. All right, guys, calm down out there. Chicago White Sox team card. Uh, Baltimore Orioles team card. Um, Chad Tracy and Lyle Overbay with the Arizona Diamondbacks prospect cards. Uh, Cleveland Indians team card. New York Yankees team card. Seattle Mariners team card. <laughs> I always like to shout that out for, for left behind there. Cincinnati Reds team card. And Taggart 
Bozy and Xavier Nade prospects for the San Diego Padres. Back, snap, crackle, pop. I hate really bending them like that, but that's the only way to kind of loosen them up. Arizona Diamondbacks team card. Pittsburgh Pirates team card. New York Mets team card. Uh, Chase Utley and Gavin Floyd prospects for the Philadelphia Phillies. Milwaukee Brewers team card. Um, Joe Borchert and Cornwall Malone prospects for the White Sox. Colorado Rockies team card. Uh, Aaron Hillman and Jose Reyes prospect card for the Mets. Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Oh, yeah. Oh, did I get those? Yeah, Aaron Hillman and Jose Reyes with the Mets prospects. Tampa Bay Devil Rays team card. Atlanta Braves team card. Oakland Athletics team card. Philadelphia Phillies team card. St. Louis Cardinals team card. At least they'll be separated when I go to sort them in order. Anaheim Angels team card. Uh, Dontrell Wills and Jason Stokes prospect card for the Miami Marlins. San Francisco Giants team card. Montreal Expos team card. Detroit Tigers team card, San Diego Padres team card, Kansas City Royals team card, definitely the stickage on these cards, Drew uh, Henson and Brandon Clausen with the New York Yankees prospect card, uh, Brandon Phillips and Victor Martinez with the Cleveland Indians prospect cards, Florida Marlins Team card and Joe Maurer and Justin Morneau prospects for the Twins. Okay, Donald dozed off. <laughs> what do you mean I dozed off? It's kind of hard to doze off when you're trying to unstick cards. How could you say I dozed off there, John? <laughs> Get a little bit. Get some of these. There we go. Not super, super brick, maybe. Not super, super brick. Okay. One more there. Maybe another. Oh, not gonna. You're gonna bite me, aren't you? Oh, cheated. Got a few more there. Okay. Let's see, we're getting pretty close to the interesting and solid rookie cards in this set. Interesting and solid rookie cards in this set. Use candle wax to get them apart. I'm not putting no candle wax on there. I don't know where you heard that before. Candle wax. There we go. Okay, so Jeff Nelson with the Seattle Mariners. Wade Miller with the Astros. Uh, Melvin Morrow with the Orioles. Uh, Jose Cruz Jr. with the Blue Jays. Uh, Robert Person with the Phillies. Uh, Junior Spivey with the Diamondbacks. Brett Boone with the Seattle Mariners. Kelvin Escobar with the Blue Jays. Uh, Corey Koski with the Twins. Uh, Ryan Rupe with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Um, Edgar Martinez with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> My man, Ed Edgar, 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 Edgar. 
All right, Orlando Hernandez with the, the Yankees. Ramiro Mendoza with the Yankees. Uh, Adrian Beltre with the Dodgers. Ichiro, Ichiro with the, who's he play with when he started? Oh yeah, the Seattle Mariners. Seattle Mariners. Greg Vaughn with the Devil Rays. Kazuhiro Sazaki with the Seattle Mariners. Jermaine Dye with the Athletics. And Bobby Jones with the Padres. Got through that one pretty quick there. See her? Paul DeLuca with the Dodgers. Uh, Ray Ordonez with the Mets. Speed the process off here. Orlando Merced with the Astros. Uh, Kyle Loesch with the Twins. Uh, Danny Graves with the Reds. Maglio Ordonez with the White Sox. Fred McGriff with the Cubs. Uh, Corey Patterson with the Cubs. Alfonso Soriano with the Yankees. Um, Odalis Perez with the Dodgers. Uh, Al Leader with the Mets. Albert Pujols with the St. Louis Cardinals. Danny Bautista with the Diamondbacks. Jason Marquis with the Braves. Roberto Alomar with the New York Mets. Josh Beckett with the Marlins. Kurt Schilling with the Diamondbacks. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer with the Rockies. Greg Maddox with the Braves. Hideo Nomo with the Dodgers. Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt with the White Sox. Uh, Lance Berkman with the Astros. Alex Rodriguez with the Rangers. Omar Vescal with the Indians, Nomar Garcia Parra with the Red Sox, Orlando Cabrera with the Expos, Roger Clemens with the Yankees, Craig Council with the Diamondbacks, Eric Kensky with the Blue Jays. Oh my word, oh my word, why'd you do that? I haven't dropped some in a little while here. Luis Gonzalez with the Diamondbacks. Andrew Jones with the Braves. Cesar Estiris with the Dodgers. Uh, Roy Oswalt with the Astros. Went through those pretty quick. Liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Where am I going to get liquid ni nitrogen? Cardinals fan 1990. Hi, buddy Donald. <laughs> All right, we got 11 thumbs up. We're getting rolling here now. We got five watching. That's okay. We got 11 thumbs up. Maybe YouTube will send a few new people my way. Omar Dahl with the Dodgers. Uh, Todd Helton with the Rockies. Jose Valentin with the White Sox. Mo Vaughn with the Mets. Sean Casey with the Reds. Edgardo Alfonso with the Mets. Uh... Jacques Jones with the Twins. Kelvin Millwood with the Braves. Austin Kearns with the Reds. Jeffrey Hammonds with the Brewers. Denny Hawking with the Twins. Uh, Sean Green with the Dodgers. I used to work for Air Products. <laughs> All right, and Craig Biggio with the Houston Astros. There we go. All right. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, krispies. <laughs> Randy Wolf with the Phillies. Steve Trichel with the Mets. Thought these sounded pretty good for separating. Kerry Robinson with the Cardinals. Brandon Duckworth with the Phillies. Jason Kendall with the Pirates. Uh, Barry Zito with the A's. Uh, Jimmy Rollins with the Phillies. Uh, Joe McEwing with the Mets. Uh, Jeff Kent with the Giants. Billy Wagner with the Astros. Edgar Renteria with the Cardinals. Carlos Beltran with the Royals. Carlos Feebles with the Kansas City Royals. 
uh, I we had a plant in Puyallup, Washington. Do the lollop in Puyallup? <laughs> you must be familiar with, or or did you just have a plant up here, John? Um, negative three, negative three twenty degrees Fahrenheit will get them. Uh, apart, just wear proper PPE gloves and goggles. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> Russ Ortiz with the Giants. <laughs> That's cute though. JT Snow Jr. with the Giants. Uh, Ron Gant with the Padres. <laughs> I like those suggestions. So. Chuck Knobloch with the Royals. Uh, Tom Wilson with the Blue Jays. Um, Adam Dunn with the Reds. Uh, Benito Santiago with the Giants. Phil Nevin with the Padres. Oh, we're after 12 o'clock already. It's going to be one of those long afternoons. Marlon Anderson. I just have to pl I'll have to start my streams earlier on Wednesdays. Uh, Marlon Anderson with the Phillies. Um, Eddie Gardado with the Twins. Um, Sammy Soso with the Cubs. Uh, Darren Dreifert with the Dodgers and Bernie Williams with the New York Yankees get into this last part here okay let's see here Alex Gonzalez with the Marlins um, Andy Ashby with the Dodgers Mike Matheny with the Cardinals uh, Derek Lee with the Marlins. Uh, Dan Wilson with the Seattle Mariners. Dan the Man Wilson. Michael Barrett with the Expos. Uh, Mike Williams with the Pirates. Uh, Mark Mulder with the Athletics. Louis Castillo with the Marlins. Uh, Mike Lowell with the Marlins. Uh, Vernon Wells with the Blue Jays. Um, Marvin Bernard with the Giants. Elmer Dessens with the Reds. Ivan Rodriguez, Pud Rodriguez, Rodriguez with the Texas Rangers. Mike Lamb with the Rangers. Mike Cameron with the Seattle Mariners. Right, Eric Gagne with the Dodgers, Stu Shannon Stewart with the Blue Jays, and Vladimir Guerrero Daddy with the Expos. Vladdy Daddy. I once froze my finger making ice cream. Yeah, making ice cream gets your fingers pretty cold. I think we're past the halfway mark now, guys. Getting close to two thirds of the way through. Ooh, I like that. I like that like that. Can we get in the middle here, middle here somewhere? Oh my word, we're, we're rip-roaring ready and s these are sliding apart a little bit better than the other ones, that's for sure. Maybe we're just stuck in that one part there. Oh, there we go, I like that one. I like that one. Can we split this in the middle? Alright, that's close enough for me. Maybe we can fly through this set. I love homemade ice cream. My grandmother used to make it all the time. That is cool there, that buying. Yep. I'm off when uh I'm off on Wednesday. I'm here with you till the end. All right, thanks there, let buying. After we do finish this up here, we will get into that 2020 Tops archive here. See if we can pull some some fire out of that box. Okay, so Luis Rivas with the Minnesota Twins. Brent Abernathy with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Raymond Martinez with the Giants. Wes Helms with the Braves. Uh, oh, there's two, two stuck together there. Marcus Giles with the Braves. Uh, Kirk Reuter with the Giants. Um, Jeremy Burnett's with the Mets. Um, Juan Pierre with the Rockies. Tim Wakefield with the Red Sox. Ramon Santiago with the Detroit Tigers. All 
right. Adam Kennedy with the Angels. Johnny Damon with the Red Sox. Um, Byung Yung Kim with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Sean Chicken with the Rockies. Juan Cruz with the Cubs. Juan Yaribi with the Rockies. Mark Grudzlenek with the Dodgers. Alex Sanchez with the Brewers. Gold Cup card. Tony Womack with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Tony Armas Jr. with the Expos. Ruben Quevedo with the Brewers. Uh, Mike Musina with the Yankees. Brett Butler with the Rockies. Geronimo Gill with the Orioles. Gold Cup card. Yerubio Durazo with the Diamondbacks. Kyle Farnsworth with the Cubs. All right, let me do a refresh here so I know where I kind of am in the chat. Been a little while since I did a refresh. Brian Giles with the Pirates. Um, Aaron Boone with the Reds. Uh, Jim Thome, Hall of Famer with the Indians. Mike Lieberthal with the Phillies. Uh, Jerry Hairston Jr. with the Orioles. Uh, Ishmael Valdez with the Rangers. Uh, Ramon Hernandez with the Athletics. Todd Hundley with the Cubs. Oh, come on. Derek Lowe with the Red Sox. Jorge Posada with the Yankees. Gary Sheffield with the Braves. Tony Batista with the Orioles. Matt Lawton with the Indians. Eric Milton with the Twins. Mike Stanton with the Yankees. Vin Vincent Padilla with the Phillies. Jimmy Anderson with the Pirates. Uh, Kip Wells with the Pirates. Uh, Erasmus Ramirez with the Pirates. Terrence Long with the Athletics. Uh, Todd Jones with the Rockies. Kaze, Kazushis, Kazushis. Oh, that's a tough one. Think about it for a second, Blomdahl. Kazushisa Ishii with the Dodgers. My Japanese is a little rusty. Troy Glaus with the Angels. Gary Bennett with the Rockies. Bobby Higginson with the Detroit Tigers. Rolando Arroyo with the Red Sox. Shane Halter with the Tigers. Wendell Maggie with the Tigers. Scott Sullivan with the Reds. Ben Sheets with the Brewers. Uh, Jay Gibbons with the Orioles. Uh, Carlos Guillen with the Seattle Mariners. Ramon Ortiz with the California Angels. Uh, Miguel Tejado with the Athletics. Kenny Rogers with the Rangers. Um, David Segui with the Orioles. Andy Baines with the Cardinals. Jason Simantachi with the Cardinals. Steve Cox with the Devil Rays. Jason Ischinghausen with the Cardinals. Sidney Ponson with the Orioles. Orlando Palmero with the Angels. Dave Malicki with the Astros. And Eric Young with the Brewers. All right, Aaron Rowan with the White Sox. Matt Morris with the Cardinals. Chris Reitzma with the Reds. Timo Perez with the Mets. Jose Jimenez with the Rockies. Davey Cruz with the Padres. Uh, Tino Martinez with the Cardinals. Tomakazu Oka with the Expos. 
and Brian Jordan with the Dodgers. All right. What do we got here? Javier Lopez with the Braves. Oh, come on. There's a second one back here. There it is. Roberto Hernandez with the Royals. Roy Halladay with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Rob Nen with the Giants. Uh, Terry Adams with the Phillies. Esteban Yan with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Scott Hatberg with the Athletics. Jose Vizquiano with the Astros. Trot Nixon with the Red Sox. Rafael Furcal with the Braves. Uh, Kevin Appier with the Angels. Um, Brandon Ng with the Tigers. Jamie Moyer with the Seattle Mariners. Jamie Moyer. Remember him. Jose Vidro with the Expos. Jose Mesa with the Phillies. Chad Bradford with the Oakland Athletics. Chris Carpenter with the Blue Jays. Uh, David Eckstein with the Angels. David Ortiz with the Twins. Bobby Kilty with the, the Twins. Jack Wilson with the Pirates. All right. John Flaherty with the Tampa Bay Rays. All right. Uh, Mark Bueller with the White Sox. Randall Simon with the Tigers. Michael Tucker with the Royals. Uh, Jeff Conine with the Orioles. John Lieber with the Cubs. Denny Neagle with the Rockies. Troy Percival with the Angels. Brad Wilkerson with the Expos. Gold Cup card. Mark Quinn with the Kansas City Royals. Okay. Straighten these up a little bit, put them in the box. I think we're about three quarters of the way done this set now. We are moving along. Let's see if we can get through this next part here. Oh, get that. I like when little sections come off, that's for sure. Makes for the separation process quicker, that is for sure. small little stacks here let me get this next one separated down so I can just kind of rip through the end of this stuff here not rip through it but you guys know what I mean <laughs> see if I can see, see if I can finish before one o'clock I think so these don't seem like they're super super stuck together Chris Benson with the Pirates Mike Maroth with the Tigers. Uh, Tony Pena with the Royals manager. Sure, we'll get some manager cards coming up here soon. Speaking of the managers, Frank Robinson with the Expos manager. Um, Mike Siosa, manager for the Angels. Uh, future stars, Orlando Hudson and Josh Phelps for the Blue Jays. Uh, Juan Rivera and Marcus Thames with the Yankees future stars. Uh, Brandon Puffer and Jung Bong with the Astros and the Braves future star. All right, Chris Snelling and Shin Su Chu. With the Seattle Mariners future stars. Uh, Jack Cust and Renee Reyes future stars for the Rockies. 
Angel Barroa and Alexis Gomez with the Kansas City Royals Future Stars. Hank Blaylock and Mark Texiera with the Texas Rangers Future Stars. Future Stars Marlon Bird and Jorge Padilla with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Michael Kudjer and Michael Restovich, Future Stars for the Minnesota Twins. And Josh Hamilton and Carl Crawford, Future Stars for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Okay. All right, Hideki Arabu with the Rangers. Uh, Brian Lawrence with the Padres. Aubrey Huff with the Devil Rays. Steve Carse with the Yankees. Um, Jason La LaRue with the Reds. Todd Zeal with the Rockies. Uh, Pokey Reese with the Pirates. Uh, Joe Ronda with the Royals. Danny Baez with uh, Danius Baez with the Indians, Bob Wickman with the Indians, CC Sabathia with the Indians, Ricky Henderson with the Red Sox, Ellis Burks with the Indians, and Brad Fulmer with the Angels. Boy, those went pretty quick. I like when they go quick. We'll definitely get before 1245 now, I think. I hope so. Ugit Urbina with the Red Sox. Ruben Sierra with the Seattle Mariners. David Justice with the Athletics. Glendon Roosh with the Brewers. Uh, Mark Pryor with the Cubs. Uh, Carl Everett with the Rangers. Uh, Robert Fick with the Tigers. Brandon Dobak with the Red Sox. Um, Jose Rihu with the Reds. Kerry Wood with the Cubs. Sean Burrows with the Padres. Bobby Cox, manager for the Braves. Nick Neubauer with the Brewers. And Ron Coomer with the Yankees. There we go. Tony La Russa, manager for the Cardinals. Jason Giambi with the Yankees. Bruce Bochy, manager for the Padres. Jeff Cirillo with the Seattle Mariners. Andre Galarga with the Expos. Mike DeGene with the Brewers. Jason Jennings with the Rockies. Uh, Travis Driscoll with the Orioles. Juan Gonzalez with the Rangers. Pat Burrell with the Phillies. Um, Herbert Perry with the um, Rangers and Joe Torre manager for the Yankees okay moving through these at a pretty good pace I do like that Faith Family and Sports hello Mr. Donald and everyone how you doing there Aaron I, I sent you a text message sorry for not responding sooner I just spaced it out I meant to and then I got busy over the weekend so I really do apologize for that but I did send you a message and uh, just since we're on the topic since everybody's wondering if you go to my homepage on my YouTube channel my community tab um, I have posted some of my checklists for my rainbow foils I'm looking for for my opening day sets and my tops 2020 series one and series two rainbow set that I'm trying to finish and then also I did uh, I haven't gotten your message yet though laugh out loud well I sent you a text message too I believe I sent you a text message if from what I remember I'm pretty sure I did you should have got something on your phone unless I got the wrong phone number I know I've texted you before in the past but yeah, and then I also have my uh, checklist for my 11 remaining medallion cards I need for my medallion set. And I'm willing to make a trade. I have plenty of extras for the medallion coin cards. So just let me know, okay, everybody? Just wanted to put that information out there. Doug Witcher, first year card for the 
I think it's the who is he with? Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Matthew Peterson with the Mets. Uh, first year card. Uh, Mike McNutt, first year card for the uh, Marlins. Uh, Chris Duncan, first year card for the Cardinals. Uh, manager Bob Brenly with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Andy Marte, first year card for the Braves. Um, Ron Gardenhire, manager for the Minnesota Twins. Um, Miguel Bautista with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Jimmy Williams, manager card for the Astros. Um, Todd Walker with the Reds. Haven't gotten it yet. It might be slow. <laughs> I think I sent it this morning when I woke up. <laughs> Uh, Todd Walker with the Reds. Uh, Dusty Baker, manager with the Giants. Uh, Dennis Cook with the Angels. Uh, Lloyd McClendon with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Vladimir Nunez with the Marlins. Uh, Larry Boa, manager for the Philadelphia Phillies. I remember when Larry Boa was a shortstop for the Philadelphia Phillies. Carlos Baerga with the Boston Red Sox. John Halama with the Seattle Mariners. Um, manager Art Howe for the Oakland Athletics. And or it might have been on my uh, from my Gmail account. I know I sent you a message though, Aaron. Uh, Art Howe with the Oakland Athletics. And Fernando Vina with the St. Louis Cardinals. All right. Let's see if we can get done here by uh, maybe 12.45, hopefully. Wayne Leiden, first year card for the New York Mets. Uh, manager Lou Pinella for, oh wait, who did he play for? Or it was, who did he manage? That's right. Lou Pinella for the Seattle Mariners. And I got to have another break and a pause. John Fishman says, Donald for the United States Postmaster General in 2020. <laughs> oh, John, 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 John. $2 super chat. Two more entries into the September drawing. My word. We're, get, you, we're, we're getting the names full here up for, for, um, for September. We're hitting things early here. Oh, wait a minute. All right, I've got you for uh, two more entries for that $2 super chat there, John. Appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you very much. You've got two more entries into the September drawing. All right, so we've got a first first year card for Sean Pierce with the Dodgers. Now we've got uh, Walter Young, first year card for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Craig Brazil, 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 first year card for the New York Mets. Um, first year card Kevin Kukilis with the Boston Red Sox. Manager card for Mike Hargrove with the Orioles. Uh, Adam LaCroche, first year card for the Atlanta Braves. Um, Bernie Castro, first year card for the San Diego Padres. Manager card Joel Skinner for the Cleveland Indians. C.J. Wilson, first year card for the Texas Rangers. Manager card Clint Hurdle for the Colorado Rockies. Um, Terry Tiffy, first year card for the Minnesota Twins. Um, first year card for Scott Tyler with the Minnesota Twins. Um, Daryl Clark, first year card for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, First year card for Jeff Clark with the, have to check the back here, don't recognize that emblem, 
San Francisco Giants. Must have been when he was with the California League. Alexis Rios, first year card for the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Jamie Bubella, first year card outfielder for the. Who is that? Seattle Mariners. Must have been. Oh no, okay, yeah, now I see it. Seattle Mariners, just the angle and such. Manager Grady Little. I love that card. He's holding a little little kid there. Maybe that's his grandson or something. Boston Red Sox or just a fan's child. That is cool. And then Carlos Tosco, manager for the Toronto Blue Jays. All right. And we've got uh, Brendan Harris, first year card, second and third base for the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> Left behind times. <laughs> a four ninety nine super chat for left behind times. Oh my word! This is for you to pause to make the live stream last longer. <laughs> Come, <laughs> oh left behind. Oh boy. Um, let's see here. What am I doing? Oh, that's right. I gotta give him five more entries into the September drawing. All right. So there you go, left behind. Let me save this file for September. And we are growing. What is today? Today's only the second, too. Man, I already got a full page of names there. <laughs> All right. So thank you there, left behind, <laughs> to make me pause. Uh, Donald retires and the mail slows down. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> oh boy, no problem there, left behind. Thank you very much for that super chat, and gives me a matter of fact. Let me take a sip of water here. I'll even. Pause to make the stream a little bit longer by taking a sip of water. I think sometimes you, some of you guys just want to see how long I will go on my streams. Oh, I've done some long ones. For those that have been with me for the long, a long enough period, you go go back into my channel and you'll see I did a, I did a, not quite a 24-hour stream, but it was a long long stream i did a garage sale uh recorded the whole garage sale from beginning to end for that for a day uh first year card for manuel ramirez with the milwaukee brewers ramon a martinez first year card for the texas rangers manager card care uh, jerry manuel for the chicago white Sox. All right, and then a manager card, Jim Tracy with the Dodgers. Uh, Rudy Lugo, first year card for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Cliff Lee, first year card for the at Cleveland Indians. Uh, manager card, Jeff Torborg with the Marlins. Uh, Daryl McCall, first year card for I believe that's the Milwaukee Brewers. No, the Oakland Athletics. Well, that threw me off with that style uniform back in the day. Manager card, Jerry Royster with the Brewers. First year card, Il Kim, pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, manager card, Bob Boone for the Cincinnati Reds. Bob Boone. Uh, Mark Malaska, first year card for the, uh, I'm going to say that's the Oakland A's again. Nope, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Jason Perry, first year card for the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Alex Gonzalez with the Chicago Cubs. Gonzalo Lopez, first year card for the Atlanta Braves. Um, Franklin Gutierrez, first year card for the Dodgers. And manager card, Jerry Naron for the Texas Rangers. All right. 
put these I think now now that the cards are loosened up they're gonna I'm gonna have a hard time fitting them all back in the box now it always seems like it happens that way but I don't know we're gonna be pretty close pretty close for squeezing them in in halfway decent uh, fashion here Oh, now John Fishman's getting in on the action again. <laughs> Another, oh my word, he's making me go bug-eye. He's making me go bug-eye. All right, John. <laughs> okay, let me get John's 99 cents entry into the Super Chat giveaway and channel giveaway for the month of September. All right. Put you in right after left behind here. John Fishman's in here. Let me save my file. Save it for September. And go back here. Take my took my little break there. Thanks, John Fishman, for that dollar super chat with the 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 the, the crazy spinning eyes. <laughs> oh my word. All right, we're two hours into the stream. I think I can get these cards done by 1245, hopefully. Chan Ho Park with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Rafael Soriano with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Jared Sandberg with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Brendan Donnelly with the Angels. Uh, Raul Mondesa, Mondesa with the Yankees. Uh, John Lackey with the Angels. Mark McLemore with the Seattle Mariners. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer with the San Diego Padres. Adam Piat with the Athletics. Dustin Moore with the Twins. Um, um, Jake Peavy with the Padres. John Burkett with the Red Sox. Brad Penny with the Marlins. Uh, Antonio Alfonseca with the Cubs. Uh, Mark Bellhorn with the Cubs. Uh, Jim Edmonds with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Placido Polanco with the Phillies. Mariano Rivero with the Yankees. Mark Ellis with the Oakland Athletics. Gold Cup card. I love that one. With the American flag in the background, red, white, and blue. True to the blue, even though it's with the athletics. There we go, Ben Davis with the Seattle Mariners. There we go. All right, let's keep ripping down through this stack here. About three more sections after this one. All right. Oh, there we go. Tim Salmon with the California Angels. Uh, Thomas Perez with the Phillies. Um, Milton Bradley with the Indians. Uh, Dave Berg with the... Is that the... The Toronto Blue Jays. Armando Benitez with the Mets. Uh, Boomer Wells with the Yankees. Quinton McCracken with the Diamondbacks. Benji Gill with the Angels. Randy Wynn with the Seattle Mariners. Back-to-back, -back, Joel Pinero with the Seattle Mariners. Russell Brannion with the Reds. Gary Matthews Jr. with the Orioles. Um, Ricardo Hildago with the Astros. Uh, Joe Kennedy with the Tampa Bay Rays. Rondell White with the New York Yankees. Ben Grieve with the Devil Rays. Tim Worrell with the Giants. Francisco Rodriguez with the Angels. Uh, so Tag Taguchi with the Cardinals. And Bob Abreu with the Philadelphia Phillies. Awesome, awesome, awesome there. We put these in the box. I think we got enough space in that last section here to barely fit back in the box here. I think so. Got two more stacks to go after this one.
do the little wiggle, I think they come apart easier. Uh, Ryan Jensen with the Giants. Julio Lugo with the Astros. Miguel uh, Cairo with the uh, Cardinals. Matt Clement with the Cubs. Kevin Menchie with the Tigers. The Tigers. The Texas Rangers. Sean Wooten with the Angels. Uh, Suyoshi Shinjo with the Mets. Um, Chris Woodward with the Blue Jays. Benji Molina with the Af- the Angels. Reggie Taylor with the Reds. Uh, J.D. Drew with the Cardinals. Uh, J- J- Jason Schmidt with the Giants. Uh, ben Broussard with the Indians. Uh, Nick Johnson with the Yankees. Joe Mays with the Twins. Uh, Bob McAwick with the Pirates. Uh, John Franco with the Mets. Doug Mikowitz with the Twins. (laughs) Oh, my. All right. This is near the end of the box again. So these seem like... Seems like it was the center was the stickiest part of the whole box. So league leaders, American League strikeouts, Pedro Martinez, Roger Clemens, and Mikey Musina. All right. And then we've got Giants 2, Cardinals 1, postseason highlights, Giants win the pennant. Sporting News All-Stars, Alfonso Soriano with the American League. Season highlights, Sean Green hits nine homers in one week with the Dodgers. All-Stars, Jorge Posada with the American League, New York Yankees. Um, Alfonso Soriano, Alex Rodriguez, and Derek Jeter, league leaders for the American League. Uh, Sporting News All-Stars, Tory Hunter with the American League. Um... League leaders, National League runs, Sammy Sosa, Albert Pujols, and Sean Green. Postseason highlights, Division Series, Angels shock the Yanks, and Giants oust the Braves. All right, Sporting News All-Stars, Manny Ramirez, designated hitter for the American League. Alex Rodriguez, Jim Thome, Rafael Palmeiro, league leaders, American League home run leaders. All right. Sporting News All-Stars, Bernie Williams for the American League. League leaders, American League batting average, Manny Ramirez, Mike Sweeney, and Bernie Williams. Postseason highlights, Twins upset the A's and the Cards sweep the champs. Sweep champs. All right, postseason highlights, the Angels 9, Yanks 6. Postseason highlights, Angels come back and stun the Yanks. All right, and then the American League Sporting News All-Stars, Jason Giambi with the American League. League leaders in home runs, Sammy Sosa, Lance Berkman, Sean Green with the Cubs. Astros and Dodgers. And then season highlights, Cameron hits four jacks in one game. Mike Cameron with the Seattle Mariners. Last little bit here before we open up the blaster box. All right, looks like separated pretty good here. Postseason highlights, Angels 13, Twins 5, Kennedys 3 homers left the Angels. Sporting News All-Stars, Derek Lowe for the American League. Uh, League leaders, American League runs batted in Alex Rodriguez, Maglio Ordonez, and Miguel Tejada. The Sporting News All-Stars, Eric Chavez with the American League, Barry Zito, All-Star, Jason Giambi season highlights, Ruthian Slam beats the Twins in extra innings, the New York Yankees, the Sporting News All-Stars, Mike Siosa with the American League manager, League leaders, National League ERA, Randy Johnson, Greg Maddox, and Tom Glavin. Awesome trio there. Derek Lowe, season highlights. Lowe tosses first no-hitter in Fenway in 37 years. Garrett Anderson, American League All-Star. League leaders in American League ERA. We are at 240, 
12.45, Pedro Martinez, Derek Lowe, and Barry Zito. Cardinals 12, Diamondbacks 2. Cardinals season highlights. League leaders, National League run batted in. Lance Berkman, Albert Pujols, and Pat Burrell. Oakland Athletics season highlights. Athletics win 20 consecutive games. Then we got league leaders, National League strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, and Kerry Wood. Alex Rodriguez, all-star for the American League. League leaders, National League batting average, Larry Walker, Vladimir Guerrero, and Todd Hilton. And last but not least, Angel snowed out. Postseason highlights, World Series highlights, Giants 4, Angels 3. And our final card of the 2003 baseball card set. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. The cards actually fit back into the box. Just barely snug as a bug. Snug as a bug. So between now and next Wednesday, I get to sort this box and put it back in order. So there we go. Let me do a refresh for my live chat on the channel. As we get ready to get into the final stage of today's video let me put this on my table in the background here for sorting to put it in numerical sequence from first to last card in the set uh kevin's card collecting and more i've been lurking in the background good show kevin's collecting and more hey there left behind <laughs> Kevin's here. I figured he was probably watching in the background. So without further ado, let me get um, let me get some st my stands out here, so we can go through and see what we can find in this Tops 2020 archives box here. Put the stands up here. Get them up here, ready to rip roar and ready to go. Let's see. Let me put that one there. And we'll put that one there, and this one here, and this one here. How's that look for now? I think that'll work pretty good. Get that one right there, this one right here, that one back there, and this one up a little bit more. There we go. I think I got those right about there. I'll put the box back here after I open it up here. Let me get my handy dandy little knife here and score the top of the box here. If I can pull the plastic off with my handy dandy little brake knife. My handy dandy little brake knife, the knife that Kevin gave me when he was here with my personalized name on it. Donald Lomdahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Sup, Kev? <laughs> Left behind said he was hanging out with me throughout the the whole thing. So here we go with our final part of the stream. Let's open up this blaster box here of Tops Archive. Pull these out here. We got the Tops exclusive card there. Let me close this up so I can put it in the background here. Put the Tops Archive box back there. Kevin can keep an eye on the box there. All right, let me actually turn that a little bit that way. We will do this one last and see who we get for. Looks like the way they got it sitting in the box, it gave the little card a little curve, but that's okay. But I think it's probably fine. So we will do, I'm going to put that right next to me. I'll keep an eye on that one right back there. And we've got these seven packs to go through now. And we'll see what kind of heat we can find out of here. Uh, Donald, I went to my LCS yesterday for some supplies. They had a Griffey Jr. signed bat. I asked uh, how much, and he asked if I was going to buy it. <laughs> when I said probably not, he never gave me the price. 
I can't imagine why. It, it probably would have cost a few pennies there, Kevin. But wow, he, he didn't want to give you the price? Interesting. Hmm. I guess he only wanted to give you a price if you were maybe seriously interested in buying the bat, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and get into these seven packs here and see what we can find in here. Let's see, I don't want to cut these out. I want to make sure they are displayed here in fashion. The Tops Archives, eight trading cards per pack, seven packs in the box. And let's go see what all their high-end stuff is not tagged with prices. Ah, so so what you do is you, you want to make sure what you're looking for and then try and find out a fair price. Hmm, sounds interesting there. Well, at least you have an LCS. I, I mean, I have that one that you, you've seen when, when we went there and stuff. That was the first time I had been there in a long time, really. So, Shogo Akiyama. There we go, a Shogo rookie card there. Oops, that got twisted around a little bit there. The, so the Shogo Yaki Akiyama rookie card. Then we got the uh, Los Angeles for Cincinnati Reds, Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher rookie card, Dust and May. There we go. Put that right behind the Shogo. Put the Shogo in front for now. He's the hot, hot one there. Nico Horner rookie card. Wow, so far this packs all rookie cards. Nico Horner rookie card for the Chicago Cubs. That's okay. Then we got a Trevor Hoffman Hall of Famer for the San Diego Padres. All right. And then we've got a Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader with the St. Louis Cardinals. Boom. We got the Alvarez for the Houston Astros rookie card. Color TV. Look at that one. Number three. Num oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Number 30 in a set of 30 full-color picture cards. So the Yordan Alvarez. We got the... Or at least I, I'll say I got um, the the uh, awesome card yesterday when we pulled that one. Then we got the Dylan Cease rookie card. So all except for uh, the Hall of Famer that we had there. They've all been pretty much rookie cards. Well, no, Harrison Bader was not a rookie card. Trevor Hoffman and Nico Horner. All right. Then we got a rookie card here. Dylan Cease, pitcher for the Chicago White Sox. And Tim Lincoln, pitcher for the San Francisco Giants. Put him right behind the rookie here. Not too bad. A first pack, that's for sure. Got the Shogo, Nico Horner, Dylan Cease, Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Let's go on to pack number two. It's pretty sad when they don't put prices on what they'd like to try and get for some of their stuff. Here we go, a Bob Feller Hall of Famer for the Cleveland Pit Indians pitcher. All right. Even though it's a Hall of Famer, I'll put him right behind there. Atlanta Braves pitcher, Mike Soroka. And then the Washington Nationals, Max Scherzer, pitcher for the Nationals. All right, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole for the New York Yankees. Then we've got uh, Eugenio Suarez with the Cincinnati Reds. Then we've got, selected by the Youth of America, Ryan O'Hearn, Kansas City Royals Tops All-Star Rookie First Baseman. Boom. Ryan O'Hearn, All-Star card there. All-Star Rookie First Baseman. Then next we got Al Kaline, Hall of Famer Al Kaline, outfielder for the Detroit Tigers. And George Kell also for the Detroit Tigers. 
I do like these cards. I like the styles and the layouts of the different uh, card series that they use. Uh, send that to Jabs. Donald can't wait for you to see my collection video. A lot of oddball things. Oh, that's cool. I like I like seeing those kinds of videos, that's for sure. So there we go. We got a Blake Snell with the Tampa Bay Rays pitcher. Then next we got a uh, Oakland Athletics outfielder, Steven Pescotti. And a Toronto Blue Jays first baseman, Rowdy Telez with the Toronto Blue Jays. All right. Then we've got next, we've got uh, Adrellis Chapman for the New York Yankees. Um, Kevin Biggio for the Toronto Blue Jays. Then we've got uh, Jorge Polanco with the Minnesota Twins. Then next we've got here Gary Carter, Hall of Famer for the New York Mets. And Michael Brantley with the Houston Astros. Rounds that pack up. On to pack number four. Four of seven. Nice design. And this year's the Frank's Card Corners in the house. How you doing here, Frank? Thanks for popping into the stream here. Appreciate you being here, Frank. Hope all is well in New York for you and your family. All right, there we go. Uh, San Francisco Giants shortstop, Brandon Crawford. All right, Houston Astros, Carlos Correa. And Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer with the Toronto Blue Jays, second baseman. And next up, we got Lourdes Gurriel Jr. for the Tor uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Then we got Yadier Molina with the St. Louis Cardinals. Boom! Aaron Judge. All rise. I seen a little bit of the flag there. I didn't know what card it was when I. All rise for the Judge. Aaron Judge. <clears throat> All right. And then Lucas Gelito, Chicago White Sox pitcher. And Gary Sanchez. For the New York Yankees. All right. Moving on to pack number seven. All good here, Don. Hope all is well with you and the family. Yes, we are all doing well out here. Just plugging away one day at a time. Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Sandy Koufax, Hall of Famer. Chicago Cubs pitcher Kerry Wood. All right, and next we got up to bat Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer for the New York Yankees. Uh, Johnny Bench, Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer for the Cincinnati Reds. Then Andy Pettit for the Houston Astros. All right, first baseman for the California Angels, Mark Texaria. First baseman. Right, and then next we've got Kenta Mayetta with the Minnesota Twins and Joey Gallo with the Texas Rangers. All right, continue through this box. Pack number six out of seven. All right. Uh... Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder Roberto Clemente, Hall of Famer. Um, Trent Grisham with the San Diego Padres rookie card. I'm going to put Trent Grisham in front right now for Kevin's car collecting and more. Logan Allen, rookie card for the Cleveland Indians. Put him in front. A boom, Jordan Alvarez. There we go. Rookie card and gold cup card for the Houston Astros. Put him in front now of Logan Allen. And then Evan Longoria with the San Francisco Giants. 
Boom, there we go. Boba Shet and Guerrero Jr. for the Baby Blue Jays. Put them in front here. And then, boom, Hall of Famer Derek Jeter. Shortstop for the New York Yankees. And Jack Flaherty with the St. Louis Cardinals for our last card in pack number six. I'm dead in the water. All right. My, e my eBay got flagged for selling in endangered animal taxidermy, even though I have permits for it. I can't get through to anyone. Oh, yeah, it's kind of hard selling that kind of stuff on eBay. I, I, I really wouldn't go that route. I'd try and find something. <laughs> you might have permits, but that doesn't... You, you got to remember what's allowed and not allowed to be put on eBay there. Very interesting, though, John. <laughs> I had no idea you were into that taxidermy stuff. Man, you, you must have a bazillion hobbies. A big five-player deal with the Mariners and the Padres. You hear that? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I heard of that for sure. We're looking forward to see... Oh, boom! That's a hit for me. Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners. I'll still put him behind the rookies for now. Keeping the rookies up front. Arizona Diamondback second base outfielder, Cattell Marte. All right, and then Eric Cosmer with the San Diego Padres, first baseman. All right, next we got here Kevin Newman with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Then we've got Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario with the Minnesota Twins. And then Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Vladdy Guerrero Jr., All-Star Gold Cup card. All right. And then next we have up to bat uh, Aaron Savali with the Cleveland Indians rookie card. Put that one right up in front. One of the new rookies for Series 2. And then Gavin Lux. Boom! Gavin Lux hasn't really turned out as well as they thought he was going to be. Put that right there, and now we are, are down to our big card. I tried on Craigslist, but that place cares. Yeah, I don't know about Craigslist either. <laughs> I've done that once or twice, and haven't had the best of the best of experiences. Let's say, I kind of stick to my eBay with my baseball cards and some of my garage sale type stuff that I list up there that I can ship at a reasonable cost. So let's see who we've got for our box topper in this one. Our oversized card, our, our exclusive 1964 Tops Giant card inside. All right, let me just take a peek real quick here. Make sure I'm turning this the right way. And let's see. Let's do a reveal here and see who we got here. All right. Looks like it is a... I think it's a Cincinnati Red, from what I can tell. I might be wrong. I don't know. All right. Who do we got here? Anybody recognize that face? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Deion Sanders? Boom! Left behind spot on the money with that one. Deion Sanders, Cincinnati Reds. like to read the back of these when I pull them out. 640-DS, Deion Sanders. Green light go. Sanders swipes four bags versus... The old club facing the Braves team that had traded him less than two years earlier. Deion Sanders ran wild for the Reds on April 14, 1997. 
The Cincinnati leadoff man singled in the top of the first inning, stole second base, and then scored on Barry Larkin's triple for the initial run of the game. The, in the following frame, he smacked a two-out single before swiping second base with ease. Dion also turned a one-out walk into a triple in the fifth by pilfering second and third. Although he was stranded, that gave him a career-high four thefts despite just two hits. From the outfielder for the Cincinnati Reds, Deion Sanders. Neon Dion. <laughs> there we go. I don't have any sleeves or nothing to put that in, but I can put that in my Hall of Fame uh, postcard binder. In the back, I got uh, slots in there where these oversized cards can fit. And by the time I'm done, I should have four of them. So Dion Sanders is my second one there. All right. Now let me see real quick here. Or do I stand here um, all right put that there I'm a little bit lonely with baseball not being played we we're supposed to play the athletics and the A's but they ended up having somebody come down with COVID so they gotta wait to be tested so they're gonna replay the series later on in the year so hopefully you all enjoyed this. I think I'm a little bit off. Let me twist this just a little bit this way so you can see all the cards over there. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Appreciate everybody being in here for this uh, almost three-hour stream. Almost three-hour stream. But I'm going to go ahead and back up my chair here. Get ready to turn the camera around. So you guys can see my pearly whites. I'll smile so you can see my pearly whites. <laughs> All right. So this is and has been Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles. Uh, my wife went to pick up my daughter and grandson from the hospital. I'm going to meet the little fella in about 30 minutes. Yay! Kevin gets to see his grandson. All right. That is cool. Is this the first time you get to see your grandson there, Kevin? I'm sure you're super, super excited. That is cool. So this has been Donald Blomdahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Having been live to you this Wednesday, we appreciate everybody that was in here. Kevin's car, yes, first time. Can't wait. I'm sure you're excited, Kevin. I'm glad I'm getting off in time by the time they show up at home. Bye, everyone, and God bless. Yes, you all take care. Have a wonderful and blessed day. If you get to your house of worship tonight, if they're having services, have a good night in church. If not, support your church through their live stream, and if they have it, okay? So take care. Lord bless you all, and have a wonderful and blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow for, I don't know for sure what yet. I got to come up with a new series. We ended our other one last week. Or maybe we'll just do something different tomorrow. All right. So take care. Lord bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed day. See you around the channels. Bye for now.